Hi YouTube. Welcome back to Mystic Moons Astrology. My name is Ashley and today I am finally starting the South Node series with South Node conjunct the Ascendant and Sinistry. So everyone welcome back and thank you all for subscribing and for commenting and your likes and everything. It's been wonderful. <clears throat> So, we're going to discuss the South Node and Ascendant and Sinistry, and I capped off the North Node series with Descendant conjunct the North Node because I really wanted to start um, with the South Node conjunct the Ascendant because if you've got that, then you've got North at the Descendant. So, and <clears throat> I've done a lot of research on the South Node and um, there is a lot of information out there about it really um, being a pull to hold us back and to have uh, this nostalgic feeling of um, struggles um, because the South is not a place where we want to stay, right? It's a place where we want to evolve from and we want to get away from and it's habits. And so these things are ingrained in us and um, as I discussed the South Node conjunct the planets and axis in, the, in this series, I'm not going to focus so much on the negative aspects. And the reason why is because I will do my own separate space for that. And I will discuss that, especially with the um, squares, which can bring some friction. And the oppositions, not so much, because the oppositions really can be a mirror and can be quite reflective and teach us a lot and they can be quite positive instead of negative so <clears throat> but like i say i'm going to be really focusing in with this series with the positive attributes of south node conjunct the planets and axis and i'm excited to get this series going because the south node is definitely a place where um, we feel connected if we have planets that reside there and I personally have moon <laughs> sitting with my south node and um, also have a few other I think asteroids sitting there and Venus not too far away from the south <clears throat> so there um, definitely is a pull for me to discuss this topic because I have dealt with it in my own chart and I continue to progress and deal with that in my chart. So anyhow, discussing South Node conjunct the Ascendant and Sinistry. Well, what is a Sinistry chart? A chart um, with a Sinistry comparison would be two natal charts and we would look at those together or side by side and they would um, show us things that are important in this relationship, flirting, um, easy, easy things that come, and tough things that come around with Sinistry. And um, Sinistry is really a wonderful tool for examining our relationships. So South Node conjunct the Ascendant. Have we met before? This may be a question that pops up in the heads of the South Node or the Ascendant person upon meeting. The South Node definitely sees someone nostalgic, uniquely familiar, and a friendly face in the Ascendant. These two could have had a past life connection and are meeting again. The South Node wants to care for the Ascendant person, whether that be physically, emotionally, nourishment, or fulfillment. Natural comfort ensues between these two upon figuring out that they have a lot in common because the Ascendant is a place in our chart symbolizing our physical characteristics and how others see us. The South Node can recognize the Ascendant person as a part of their soul tribe or soul family. The South Node and Ascendant can get along well together. Compromise and harmony are important to both here. These two can be natural, natural friends, allowing the other to be their silly, heart-centered selves. The ascendant person can be enthusiastic, uh, energetic, and can pull the south node person out of ruts and, st and stagnation. The 
Ascendant person can be very beneficial to the north node or south node as these two have the descendant on the north node, encouraging and inspiring a progressive relationship where and one where descendant and north node. It seems destined, influential, futuristic, and growth oriented. These two in Sinistry are teaching one another about identity and others. Because these two in Sinistry are teaching one another about it, they can experience familiar yet unfamiliar harmonies in the relationship with one another, and they can be fill, hel filled hell back as well as kind of pushed forward. The South Node feels a soul connection with Ascendant, and while they may not say it, they are very invested and emotionally attached and linked to the Ascendant. They long to get emotionally impulsive reactions out of the Ascendant. There is a knowing in meeting the meeting of these two in Sinistry. The Ascendant feels comforted, understood, and in a safe space with the South Node. South Node always has a potential in holding the planet person back. And for this contact, this can be that the South Node isn't the most encouraging on self-improvement on the part of the Ascendant. And it is not because they don't want the Ascendant to get better. It's just that they like the Ascendant the way they are already. They get comfortable with the Ascendant and allow them to feel okay with the personal choices, um, which can offer quite the acceptance for um, both of them, honestly, because the South Node is able to um, naturally relate to the things of the Ascendant and the Ascendant's able to be themselves and to really, um, you know, just feel like someone accepts them on a base self level. South naturally uh, wants to emotionally support the Ascendant and what they want to go after. And obviously, if you have further aspects to either the Ascendant or the South Node, this can modify how uh, the, this contact shows up in Sinistry. But <clears throat> this is just a little information about South Node conjunct the Ascendant when we see it in Sinistry. And um, it can be really comforting. And um, the South um, Node wants to care for the Ascendant. And um, the South sees a nostalgic, familiar, destined face in the Ascendant person. And the Ascendant feels very comforted by this contact. So if you enjoyed this video on South Node Conjunct the Ascendant, please let me know. Uh, comment below or um, give me a like. And uh, feel free to subscribe to the page if you like the content. I am going to be continuing on this South Node series. And I'll be working on getting the uh, Sun Conjunct South and Moon Conjunct South next. So I'll see you guys very soon. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.